Uh, hello everyone, today I wanted to film for you guys the center of Moscow and here I have a Russian duck, check it out. Look how awesome this duck is, it's huge. I mean this thing is a work of art. Yeah, what's going on? Um, okay, I think the duck likes me. Let's see. Me and the duck, me and the Russian duck. Anyway, um, today I am in front of the... See this thing behind me? It's called the Tower of Astankina. Bashnya Astankina in Russian. This thing is a TV tower. And uh, it's basically... <clears throat> it's basically considered like the symbolic uh, place for like Russian television. It's super, super tall. Um, it also has a restaurant right there called the Seventh Heaven, Seventh Heaven or Seventh Sky in Russian. It's really beautiful here. See, uh, right behind me there is a um, lake <laughs> and the duck is still there. Um, and um, anyway, um, I'm just like taking a walk around Moscow. I'll show you a little bit more. Um, I'm guessing apartments in those apartment buildings are pretty pricey. I think probably 300,000 American dollars at least, which is a lot in Russian. But anyway, um, the only thing I love is just taking like walks here. Uh, taking walks is awesome. Um, I'm probably gonna insert a clip of me uh, another clip that I filmed here, so it's gonna be like kind of a half-assed video. But um, since my channel isn't monetized right now, I just don't really care about making high-quality stuff. YouTube, you know. I used to have a channel, and I don't have it anymore. But um, oh, there's like an interesting projection of the Russian flag right on top of it. But anyway. Um, What's going on with my life, right? Things are good. Um, I've been living here for like half a year. I, I feel better, although it's still like up and down. You know, my, the way I feel, I, I think I am, um, not entirely convinced, but I think I have some form of like, you know, I don't want to say it's like multiple sclerosis, but I do have some kind of like a, neurological disorder type of a thing in my body and I think it's been misdiagnosed you know maybe it's some kind of like MS or something like that um, because it's fir firstly it's not super serious so you know I'm not like visibly you know I mean but I felt sick for a very long time and uh, I can say that things have been much better here much better here for me um, because I have a very sensitive like um, you know stomach and everything connected to food and American food has been a huge issue for me and well I mean basically any food I have to really watch what I eat like I have to be super careful and thankfully I um... see this is another TV building behind me see right here that, that one they film I, I think what they do is they film Russian talk shows there so they film an equivalent of um, how would you say this it's not like Jerry Springer but it's uh, like a, sort of a little bit better than Jerry Springer. Rush also has a uh, version of uh, Wheel of Fortune called uh, Field of Dream uh, Field of Miracles in Russian is Polychudes, which is a really cool thing. If if you wanna check out a clip of it, just put in like English letters Polychudes in YouTube and you can check it out. The main differences, the differences between the Russian version of the Wheel of Fortune and American version is that American version see that's a good view of the tower. It's all business, right? So in American version of Wheel of Fortune, people come, they like, hello, they spin the wheel, they get to business, they win prizes and they leave. Russian version is 
constant like dancing, singing, gifts, jokes. They basically spin the wheel like one twentieth of the time, the rest of the time is just screwing around. <laughs> Which is the story of Russia. So, uh, but in fact, um, you know, it makes for a fi much funner program. And also people, they are like, you know, the people in the Russian version of Wheel of Fortune, they bring the host gifts. You know, they like, for example, if let's say the person is from the Far East, they bring fish. If the person is from the south, they bring like cucumbers or strawberries or like their local um, dish or some like, oh, whatever, you know. And it's very like friendly, friendly type of thing where, see right there, that building, right there, see that building? It says, um, Tele Radio Theater. See, this means television uh, radio network of Russia. So this is like the nerve center of the... No, not, not the nerve center, no. There, there are other places in Moscow for the Russian TV, radio type of a thing. Uh, but this one is like old school type of thing because this is where the tower is. So, uh, anyways, uh, I'll see you guys later. Ciao, ciao. And what's going on everyone? Welcome to another video. I'm sorry I haven't uploaded in a while. I've been a little busy. Here I am in a typical Russian, Moscow, Russia uh, yard. I will, um, the thing that I wanted to talk about today, and I will show you a little bit about around, just so it's not my face. So this is like a typical Soviet building, but see right behind, right there, you see a, a newer building. I apologize for the noise. <clears throat> See that newer building right here? So, the thing that is happening in Russia is that Russia is kind of killing its Soviet past and everything connected to the Soviet period and embracing unnecessarily, I think it's a huge mistake, everything Western, everything American, half the country is like fixated on money, um, greed, um, and everything that's connected to it, okay? Uh, so see right here is a, um, there's more buildings here, there's a dog. <laughs> I'll go walk over there, hold on. So here is a, now that building is already newer. So these, this is a Soviet building. Um, this is a Soviet building right here. <clears throat> this one. And these are kind of, this is kind of like a Soviet street. But uh, what's happening is that, oh, here's the water truck again. God, I hate these things. They, they just make noise. Uh, okay, here goes the water. Um, you see, the whole greed culture, like, like, I don't like any of the new stuff in Moscow, you know? Like, see this building right here? This one um, probably has, you know, like, uppity people, it has security. It has like a guard, it has like a world of territory, and it has people that whose main shtick is that they're like better than you. Oh, there's so many things here. Oh, here's a thing that comes. See. And I really love, you know, Everything that's older in Russia, the, like I just went and ate at a Soviet style like diner, you know, I, I like everything that's kind of come like when you, where you're one of the common people, like, like one of the average people. And the beauty of Russia is that being average is not, um, you know, it's not like a bad thing. 
you know, like here's a yard and there's like, you know, people walking by. Now in America, and the thing that I was escaping America is that, you know, they, America eliminated, made it really bad to be like average. You know, being average in America is like a horrible thing because it's you literally living in like a ghetto, you know? Whereas in Russia, um, being um, average is still fine, you know? But um, again, um, Russia has a lot of people who are American-like in their attitude. You know, they, they, they want to separate themselves from the proletariat, so to speak. They want to live in a high building, walled off uh, type of a thing and look down upon everyone else. And they usually have, like dealing with them is crap, you know, like, um, God help you if um, 